Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Bit One Grade. Uh, this is the uh, second part of the uh, Moving Average Golden Cross Model for Bybit Exchange. So uh, I will continue from the uh, previous uh, part one video. So, so for this video, uh, I will start with this uh, here, okay? So uh, we need to uh, create this session, okay, uh, so that we can uh, place a uh, uh, order uh, based on the uh, test, uh, Golden Cross test that uh, we covered in the uh, part one video. Okay, so using API key and secret API secret key from your account, this program will uh, place a uh, order. Uh, uh, for the uh, golden cross and dead cross and uh, to place order uh, we first need to check uh, your your your, uh, your current uh, position okay so uh, so we there's a there's a command from a pi up it uh, which uh, which uh, look into your position okay uh, in for example, in this uh, in this case, uh, we use the uh, uh, we use the uh, uh, Bitcoin uh, BTC USD pair. Okay. Okay. So uh, the, uh, and uh, this command will uh, look into your position uh, for uh, BTC USD uh, pairs. Okay. So uh, I will change here. To a uh, symbol, okay. So if you change the symbol uh, up there, uh, this to other pair, then it will look into other pair, okay. Uh, I will change here to the other the areas, okay. So uh, this, so we we, we check this uh, position size because. Uh, we don't want to place a uh, same order uh, multiple times. Okay. So if this uh, if if this uh, 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 okay, and uh, we also need to check the uh, the side of the uh, position because uh, this will return just the uh, size in uh, absolute term. Okay, so in in the case. You have a short uh, position, then uh, we need to make it into a negative uh, number. Okay, so if if this uh, gives you a sell a sell side uh, position, then we are going to multiply uh, position size by the uh, negative one. Okay, and uh, we need the last, the most recent uh, price data. Okay. So if you uh, type in uh, this command, this will give you the uh, the most recent uh, price for your pair. Okay, so uh, since uh, my symbol is uh, BTC USD, this will give me the most recent uh, uh, price for uh, BTC USD. Okay. So uh, and uh, I want to check uh, check the last price with my eye. So I I. I inserted the uh, print uh, command. Okay, okay, and we're gonna have the call uh, variable which is set to none uh, initially. Okay, so if test one is positive and test two is a negative, then uh, as explained in earlier uh, in previous uh, video, uh, we're gonna set it set the call to be a dead cross. Okay, and uh, we 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 uh we calculate the uh position size right so uh, in in the case position size is negative this means that we already have uh already have the uh, uh short position so uh in this case even if uh we get the uh, dead cross call we skip okay and we continue so we go to uh next loop okay we we, we don't want to place uh another short uh, order okay 
Okay, so uh, if position size is not negative, then we are going to set the uh, QTY is equal to QTY1. Okay, uh, up there, uh, I set it to uh, QT1 to be uh, $10. Okay. Uh, QT1 has to be uh, higher than $10. Okay, uh, that's the minimum order size required by uh, by bit. Okay. And uh, we're gonna have uh, another condition. Okay, if the position size is uh, positive, okay, uh, that means uh, we already have a long position. Okay, in that case, we're gonna set QTY to be QTY one plus absolute size or position size. Okay, uh, because uh, we we want to clear the long position and uh, uh, take the uh, short position because uh, this is the dead cost. Okay? So uh, basically uh, we, we clear the uh, long position we uh, placed it for our previous golden cross uh, uh, chance. Okay? And uh, this command session uh, active order, okay? this will uh, uh, place a uh, order okay and the uh, symbol is same as a uh, by ticker which is same as the uh, symbol and the order type will be market okay uh, if you want uh, limit order then you can change it into a uh, limit okay and side will be sell because of this is the dead cross and we want to uh, have a short position okay and the uh, QTY this is the variable for a quantity for the order and this is same as the QTY we uh, calculated earlier okay. and the timing force will be equal to cancel and uh, this this condition is for the golden cross okay so if test one is negative and test two is positive then uh, we're gonna set call to be a golden cross and uh, just like the uh, previous uh, condition in this case, if position size is uh, positive and positive, then uh, we want to skip because uh, this is a golden cross and uh, we want long position. But if there is already long position, then we don't want to. Uh, we don't want another long position, so we we are going to skip and continue. Okay, and uh, if position is not positive, then we are going to set initially set a uh, QTY to be QTY one. But let's say uh, there there's a previous uh there's a we we are currently have a short position okay so uh, uh short position from a previous uh, dead cross okay in that case we're going to set the uh, QTY to be QTY one plus absolute size of the uh, position size okay so just like a previous uh, order we are going to place a uh, order using session place active order. Uh, in that case, everything same, but the uh, side will be buy, okay? Because uh, this is golden cross, so we want to place a buy order, a long position, okay? And uh, I'm going to print out the uh, uh, moving average and the uh, call to uh, check uh, to see uh, with uh, my eyes, okay? And uh, I will place the uh, time slip. Uh, this will uh, uh, run this loop uh, uh, every uh, two seconds. Okay, so after loop, uh, computer will uh, will take a break of uh, two seconds. Okay, so but uh, if you want it to uh, check uh, more frequently, then you can change it uh, to a uh, less number. Uh, but uh, I recommend you to place uh, around uh, one or two seconds because uh, there is a uh, API limit uh, for a uh, Bybit exchange. Okay, so if you uh, check it too, if you request too many uh, uh, requests uh, too frequently, then uh, Bybit will uh, ban you. Okay, so uh, you don't want that. So okay, so uh, I I suggest you put a one or two second break. Okay, after each loop. So uh, let's check if uh, this this uh, code uh, actually uh, follows the uh, uh, real uh, data from exchange. Okay, so I'm gonna 
run this uh, uh, program. Okay. So we get the uh, moving average nine and twenty six. Okay, here. Let's see. Let's check it out. So, so we have the this is a uh, red line is the uh, moving average for uh, uh, the fast uh, moving average and the green line is the uh, slow moving average every MA26 this green line is MA26 red line is uh, MA9 okay so MA9 four, 43998 okay yeah, it's almost there. Okay, so we take a two second break. So uh, there could be some uh, delay, very short delay. But uh, we can see that uh, our uh, program follows it quite well. Okay, four three eight six three. Okay, so so we we are on the same page uh, as the uh, real five bit exchange. Okay, so. Uh, so uh, this is the uh, golden cross okay the red line is the fast line and fast line crosses the uh, slow line upward so this is golden cross so this model will place a uh, long order a uh, long order for a uh, golden cross and uh, you can check the real time uh, how this program works in uh, in, in the uh, in my another video and I, I put the link uh, in the explanation section okay so uh, this is the end of our uh, explanation on uh, golden cross moving average golden cross model for our uh, bybit exchange I hope uh, this video uh, is uh, helpful for your uh, investment and uh, I will come back with uh, uh, another useful video thank you for watching